Well, we end up having about 13 varsity games and three JV games. And it seems like every year that we have a player that uh, plays well JV-wise, gets an opportunity varsity-wise, and wins a spot, usually coming back from, from Arizona. So it's, it's more of a, a building area where we can actually see and where the talent stands at that time. This year is more Division II teams going to be there, which is nice, and University of Mary and uh, Southwest Minnesota State. And there's a lot of good teams that are going to be out there this year. More teams are going out there, especially with the weather. And, in a facility that we get to play at. It's very nice. Uh, last year, uh, we had a, lo a lot of our pitchers that were down. We had six pitchers go out, which uh, hurt us a lot. And uh, we competed. We just didn't have anybody that could come in and, and stop anything. We, we, I think we had a lot of games where we lost by one run. And same thing when we played against Kent State. We, we got beat by one run out, hit them as well. But uh, hopefully this year with the pitchers we brought in and, and uh, with the veteran guys we have back, it'll be a little bit different this year. Well, one, they, they need to respect it and, and respect their opponents. And uh, we, we were all about defense and pitching. And um, we're, we're a veteran team this year, which is nice. We've had uh, the fielders have been uh, freshmen and sophomores the last two years, so they're mostly juniors this year. And hopefully they're going to play well. And, uh, but our whole goal is, our main goal is not to give up a big inning. And the big inning is three or more runs. And we want to just make sure that we do what we're supposed to do the small things right, and hopefully at the end we'll be right there ready to win the game. Uh, the GLAD Conference is a strong conference. I mean, comparable to, you know, many Division I looking at it. I mean, you look at, we play Kent State, and there it's very comparable to playing Grand Valley, you know, Saginaw Valley and a lot of them. Uh, so it's, it's very, very strong, and uh, it's something where back when we played in the NAIA, we had some good teams that we played against, but we had some teams that weren't very good. But from top to bottom, uh, both sides of the conference is very strong. Yeah, I think because if you're last in the league starting out, you could be first by the end of the, of the year. This is how strong I think anybody can beat anybody, and it showed last year. You know, some of the teams beat other teams, and then all of a sudden, you know, you know we win against one team, lose against another, and they beat the other team. So it's, it's like a triangle part of it, and it's very strong, though, this league. Uh, defensively, we should be pretty strong. Pitching-wise, hopefully, we, we brought in, we had 25 returners from last year, and we brought in 25 new guys. And four of those pitchers, I think if they can step up and, and, and pitch to this level, then with what we have coming back with our other pitchers, we should be strong pitching-wise as well.